process in our entire project here, uh, the first thing, of course, was education and design sessions and showing kids how we were incorporating that education into the design. Uh, so we had several sessions like that. We went on to creating the actual mosaic after we got our design really gelled together. Lots of individuals glued on all the little individual tiles, thousands of them probably. Uh, we glued them onto a mesh. Uh, when that was completed, we applied them to the wall and the paint process then we uh, primed and then had a big paint session where uh, several people showed up and we, we painted mural scenes on it. The project is really uh, having to do with Lincoln Bicentennial. We got a grant from Kentucky Arts Council. The Louisville Visual Art Association, of course, hosted the grant, and it was part of their Open Doors project. So we paired up with Big Brothers Big Sisters, Metro Parks, Baxter Community Center, had some kids, uh, and we came up with a plan to create an education program for these kids and adults involved. We had four education sessions and then many weeks of creating a mosaic. And at each one of these education sessions, we um, had a design meeting. And I tried to work with all the kids and adults there and pull out their ideas of what really struck them as to Lincoln's involvement directly with Louisville. And there was a great deal of that and how we could portray that in a monument. We used a canvas of a hundred foot long by three foot tall concrete wall. And we have mosaic on that. We have some ceramic work and a painted mural as well. The beginning part of this program was all about education. Uh, so we had design sessions and we had education sessions at several different sites. Farmington, the Filson Historical Society, 21C Museum Hotel, and uh, the Muhammad Ali Center. We wanted the kids to be able to be influenced by visual objects and things that they might see. We wanted them to have the opportunity to speak to these historians and after each one of those sessions, we would have a design session where we would discuss what we saw and I would start pulling ideas out of them and asking them, what struck you? What really hit you? And then as a big brother or big sister would open up a little bit, a lot of times then the kids would just start jumping right in and then you couldn't hold them back. Um, they were coming up with all kinds of ideas. And kids are incredibly creative once you open the door for them. So people were really working back and forth quite a bit, which was very nice. At the Baxter Community Center, one of the things we had an opportunity to do, there was a lot of space and we were able to roll out large pieces of paper that were three feet tall and, and the kids were able to actually draw on that and realized what scale they were working in. I would roll out a chunk of paper and a little group would start drawing around it, you know, and coloring a little bit. And then they started to get used to it. And, and we really started to get our design down and finalizing that design. Once our design was really kind of gelled together, um, we started working on our tile. And when I took out hammers and safety glasses, the kids were going crazy. Uh, they just wanted to break tile. Uh, so we got these big concrete blocks and they were breaking those and tile was going everywhere. And, and so they had a whole lot of fun doing that. And then when we whipped out the glue, uh, some kids would uh, love nothing more than, than, than actually doing the mosaic work, gluing down the mosaic pieces. Uh, it, was, it was the kids, the big brothers, big sisters, a few other volunteers. Uh, and they got to pick out the colors, they picked out the pieces, they put them down where they wanted them to go, and they had a sketch beneath the mesh that we used that they could kind of go by, um, but still, you were plugging in colors, and you plugged in one piece, and then you had to try and dig up another piece that would go next to that. And they said this very often, that it was like, uh, it was like working on a puzzle without any rules. Uh, so everybody really seemed to have fun on a lot of different levels there and in several different parts of the project. From there, once that mosaic panel was done, we allowed that glue to dry uh, and then at a future time uh, used a, a different type of adhesive, adhered it to the wall and then grouted it like any other mosaic. Then we did our, all of our paint process. We had a little paint party one uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, lots of people showed up and we painted scenes on the wall. And that was kind of the finish of the, uh, finish of the entire project. Uh, one of the things that we did in the project, I asked the kids to write letters. Uh, I said, you can write a letter to Abraham Lincoln. You can write a letter to the people of the present or the people of the future or to President Obama if you want to. And express, hey, you know, this is who I am and this 
is what I want to be. And so we got some great letters and then we had the kids scribe those into little clay slabs that I fired in porcelain slabs and those are now attached to the wall. So it was a great opportunity for them to really personally express themselves and that was their way of signing this piece. They got to put their name on those letters. So we wanted to make this monument a very unique thing, that it was an expression um, sort of by the community, not by a specific artist. I didn't want this to be an expression of mine that these kids were sort of filling in tiles and plugging in things. I wanted it to be an expression of theirs. This thing could last uh, for generations, and hopefully it will if it's well cared for. Uh, so they've left a very lasting mark uh, on uh, Louisville culture and Louisville art world uh, by doing this, and, and hopefully a lot of people will come in and appreciate it, and they will appreciate it uh, uh, through the years.